Hey guys, so I haven't done a tag video in a pretty long time. I just haven't really been in the mood to do them all that much recently, um, although I have a ton that I've been tagged to do. I was tagged to do this by Brady, and I'll put a link to his video in the description. This is the A to Z book survey. This could be just going down the alphabet, and there's specific things for each letter of the alphabet. It's like a question or something book related that you have to answer. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. A is for authors you've read the most books by, and that is an easy answer. That is Stephen King. I've read somewhere around 30 of his books, although he has like twice that many out. So I still have a while, a ways to go to finish them, but definitely he's the most that I've read anything by. B is for best sequel ever. I don't know if it counts if a book is a part of a series, if it's a sequel or not, but the second book in the Stormlight Akar series, Words of Radiance, is the best follow-up to the first book ever. It was so freaking amazing. I just finished it, so it's still like stuck in my head, and it's just the best thing I've ever read, ever. So, yeah. C is for currently reading, and I'm currently reading this book. It's called Canticle for Leibowitz by Walter Miller Jr. Uh, this is like an, a classic fantasy, sci-fi, post-apocalyptic book. It's pretty interesting so far. Like, it won a bunch of awards, and it's really, it's like a classic in these genres, so giving it a shot. Drink of choice while reading. Water, that's really all I drink, ever. So, e-reader or physical book, definitely physical book. I have a Kindle, but I barely use it, because I just, I can't, there's nothing that beats holding a real book to me. Even if having an e-reader is more convenient because you can put multiple books on it and it's smaller and blah blah blah. I don't care about any of that. I just like holding a book. F is for fictional character you would have dated in high school. I'm not really the type of person that gets attracted to a book character, like, ever. The only, th the only instance I can think about recently would be Vin from the Mistborn series. G is for glad you gave this book a chance. I'll go ahead and say Game of Thrones, because I wasn't sure if I wanted to get into a Song of Ice and Fire series. I wasn't sure if I would like it, although everybody else seems to love it. But for the first book, I really loved it. I'm going to read the second book before the month is done. So I'm really glad that I got into it, because the uh, hype is definitely deserved. H is for hidden gem book. Uh, I was trying to think of what I could possibly say for this question, because I'm not really sure what you would qualify as a hidden gem, because most books that I've read, lots of other people love, uh, for a good reason. I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, a book a book by an author that has written a really famous book. It, Mark Zusak wrote The Book Thief. That book is amazing. Book Thief is amazing, but he also wrote another book called I Am the Messenger, which is amazing for lots of different reasons, but it was one of my favorite books that I read last year. So I'll go ahead and say a lot of people that like The Book Thief would probably love I Am the Messenger, so you should check that out. I is for an important moment in your reading life. There are three that stand out in my head. One being uh, when I bought myself the first Harry Potter book in 1999 when I was eight years old on the Toys R Us and flung me into reading for good and Harry Potter. And yeah, and then reading my very first Stephen King book, uh, I think I was in middle school and it was Salem's Lot. I'm pretty sure I read it in like eighth grade and it, you can see where it's led. And then finding book two, this third one, has <laughs> put me into a whole nother realm of reading that I never realized I could get into and found lots of like-minded people which has been done wonders for my reading habits. J is for just finish. I just finished Way of Kings and Words of Radiance by Brandon Sanderson, the Stormlight Archive series. The first two books in it, they were freaking amazing. Two of my new favorite books of all time. K is for kind of books you won't read. Genres that I don't really want to read any of uh, are like new adult erotica, porn books, and contemporary romance. Um, I'm really not into that kind of thing. Longest book you've ever read? The longest book I've read is The Stand by Stephen King. It's like uh, over 1,100 pages long. M is for major book hangover because Words of Radiance. I am having the hardest time getting over this book. I have no idea how I'm going to wait for the third one. I just, I can't. My brain is like still here in this book and I don't know how to get past it. Number of bookcases you own. You see them right behind me. There's two of them. 
plus there's a smaller one that doesn't have books on it. It has like movies and games and stuff on it. So it's technically not a bookcase because it doesn't have books on it. Oh, is for one book that you have read multiple times. I actually reread books a lot. Uh, and like when I was in high school, I would reread the books that I already knew I loved over and over again. Um, I used to reread the Pendragon series over and over again and the Harry Potter series over and over again. Uh, the third book in the Pendragon series, The Never War, is one that I used to read over and over again because I really love the way that one specifically is written. P is for preferred place to read. I like reading outside, although it's way too hot to do that right now. I'm really excited for fall because fall is just the best time of year to read outside. It's the nice, it's my favorite time of year. It feels the nicest, it looks the nicest, and it's just the most peaceful. Right now though, I just like to read in my room or uh, I read somewhere in my house. Q is for quote that inspires you slash gives you all the feels from the book. I hate questions about quotes because I love quotes a lot, but I can never think of any off the top of my head when I need to. I just went and picked up a book. Here's one that is great for many different reasons. That is from Slaughterhouse Five by Kurt Vonnegut. R is for reading regret. I regret not reading as much as I should have in high school and college. I've loved reading pretty much my entire life, and I just, when I was in high school and college, I just kept rereading books that I already knew I liked. Like, I just, because I was so busy with school, I didn't actually go out and try to find books, more books that I would like. So I kept reading, rereading books that I knew I liked and rereading authors that I knew I liked instead of actually going out and looking for different and more variety of authors. And now I'm like way behind in where I should be in my reading knowledge and I have to catch up so. S is for series you started and need to finish. The Dark Tower series by Stephen King which I am reading all of them next month from book one to book seven. I'm reading all of them. I've read like, the first few. I need to read all of them because I am ashamed of myself that I have not read all of them. Three of your all-time favorite books. Lizzie's Story by Stephen King has been one of my favorite books for a long time. Dracula is one of my favorite classics, and one of these two books is my new favorite book. I don't really know which one. I guess I'll go with Way of Kings because it's the beginning of the series, and it's the one that gets you into the whole thing. This is my newest favorite book of all time. Unapologetic Fanboy 4, Stephen King, and most recently, Brandon Sanderson. I'm going to read everything Brandon Sanderson has ever wrote. I have fallen in love with his writing and his stories. He is just amazing, and he leaves me in awe with how well he crafts a story. V is for very excited about this release more than all others. Uh, definitely this year, if we're talking about this year, definitely Revival by Stephen King, which comes out in November. This is the second book to come out this year, and it sounds freaking amazing. And then another release that I just cannot wait for, I don't think it's gonna come out next year, maybe 2016, uh, the third book in the Stormlight Archive series, or in the next book in the Mistborn series, or anything else that takes place in the Cosmere of Orion Sanderson. W is for Worst Bookish Habit. I'm not sure I have a worst bookish habit other than sometimes telling myself I'm going to read a certain amount of pages in a day, and then I get nowhere near that amount of pages, and I'm just like, eh, yeah, whatever, I'll do it tomorrow, or catch up tomorrow. Uh, or, more recently, I'll plan to read more books than I can actually handle in a month, and feel stressed when I'm not caught up to where I should be. That is a bad habit, and I need to get myself out of it. X marks the spot. Start from the top left of your bookshelf, count to 27, and then show us the book that you get to. Uh, let me do that real quick. That was part of my Stephen King shelf, so you have to know that the book I'm going to show you is a Stephen King book, because there are more than 27 of them up there. That is Salem's Lot by Stephen King, with the 27th one. This is the first Stephen King book I ever read, uh, quite long. I chose the cover over the other covers because it's just like, it's kind of minimalistic, and I like that. And this book used to freak me out, like not, it didn't scare me necessarily, but it freaked me out, like it gets your heart pumping really fast, and it's just really well written, it's amazing. There's a quote on the back that says, spine-tingling fiction at its best, and that is definitely true. Z is for Z Snatcher book, which is the book, the last book that kept you up way too late, and that is definitely, once again, words of radiance, because I just could not put that thing down, no matter how hard I tried. I mean, I read the whole a thousand page thing in less than a week, like five days, so... Uh, you guys definitely said something, I think. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm not going to tag anybody. Don't really feel like it, honestly. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys very soon with more.